Howdy, guys. Uh, so here we go. Uh, quick, quick sale video. Um, I'm, I'm. I was gonna say giving away, but no, it's not for free. <laughs> Sorry. I am selling my uh, Doomsayer. Why? Because I have a Leonard shotgun, which is essentially the same thing, but with four barrels and uh, a little bit better range. So here we go. Um, this Doomsayer was designed for short range rushing and uh, multi-rotational springers above four barrels are banned at wars if they have range above uh, 60 feet in the NIC which is um, so Doomsayers are actually banned but this hits uh, 50, 55 ish feet so this is actually allowed by um, MAG-7 rules so um, you still can use it in Mag 7 Wars, and of course with uh, Family Wars, Friend Wars, I don't think they're going to stop you. So, um, it's it's painted really nice. It's uh, my signature scheme, red dry brush, 12 barrels, and it's got, it reloads uh, four shots in the back here instead of the original three on both sides. It's pretty amazing, so... Um, I'll take a dart, right? Stuffing in the back. And uh, that actually loads this barrel, so you gotta prime it twice to get it to the center. Rotation is perfect. I have the uh, rotation mech glued down. It's really nice. So that was uh, 27 ish, 30 ish feet. And it hit, it smacked. So um, it hits pretty hard. It, it doesn't hit too hard, but it's pretty cool. And it actually works great with taggers, even though it's uh, petchy barrels. It's uh, it's kind of surprising because they are loose in it, but if you put e tape around the taggers, they work phenomenal in uh, this blaster. It's got a pretty good air seal. It is loose a little bit, but it's pretty nice. I did the turret with the um, without the yellow piece at the end, I cut off the inner yellow piece and used it as a template, and then I have a PVC on the edge of the top of the turret to keep the barrel straight, and uh, orange e-tape, so it's actually a legal um, toy, because uh, if you don't have orange tips on the end, it's technically illegal, because it can be, even though it looks nothing like a real firearm, it can be said as a real firearm if you get in trouble with it but um it's pretty cool and as long as you don't do something stupid that won't happen so i really really like this style of blaster and my primary is the same style uh shotgun grip multi-rotational turret rear loads so it's it's really nice and i'm not going to dry fire this so um if you pull it back pull the trigger and then let it forward slowly it doesn't dry fire so that's pretty nice. And, um, because no dry fire. And I realize this video is bad quality because it's just something quick that I don't want to throw up. It's a uh, direct record or whatever it's called. Link over there. And uh, keep in mind, there was a good seven, eight hours that went into this blaster, plus um, $30 for the blaster, then um, another five for Pet G. Then another 10 for goop, and a little bit for hot glue, and a little bit for the springs, and a little bit for the insulation. So it's about $50 of raw materials, and then 7 to 8 hours of work, skilled labor, $10 an hour. So the price is, it's below what I could sell it for. I can tell you that right now. I sold my last one for 250 to some dude at Singapore. And then it was an additional two hundred dollars to get it shipped over there. So, if you're not a U.S. resident, residential customer, don't don't buy from me because shipping's ridiculous for this size outside the U.S. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. As I said, uh, link to the auction up there. See ya.